What a cruel, tragic story for Katia. And Gilgamesh getting front row seats. He's making fun of the play. He thinks that this is like cheap middle school, you know, like culture festival drama theater play. And just like this shit mid, Kide. And Kide's like, hmm, I'm starting to understand a lot more about pleasure. Katia is so tragic because he did this to save Sakura, but it turns out Sakura already got wormed. And then, you know, his revenge against Tokyo Mi is just got stolen. And then framed to death. And then Aoi shows up. And now it's like, shit. There was no point of him even joining. Just an empty man. He's got fucking nothing to live for anymore. It's crazy what's going on. And then the stuff with Ryder. Seems like Ryder is also on his last stretch, right? He's not really in a place. He doesn't even have the chariot anymore. The noble Phantasm of Saber, Excalibur just destroyed it. He still has, you know, his Noble Phantasm. But Ryder is pretty nerfed at the moment. Gilgamesh is looking pretty clean to win the entire thing at this point. But we'll see what's going to happen in today's reaction. All right, they walked home. They probably walked for 10 hours. Grandpa? My fake grandpa? Your grandpa? Why on the rooftop? Okay. I don't know. Is this a bait? Is he disguised? Okay. Maybe he's got some wisdom for us. We'll see about that. What's on the rooftop, Grandpa? Okay. You know, wait for the sunrise? Your fake grandson, how nice of you. <laughs> Did he, I wonder if he actually had a grandchild or something. Like, where are these memories coming from? Because at a certain point, I don't know. Because, like, maybe he used to have one, and that's kind of like the memories that we're kind of borrowing right now, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, I do, for sure, for sure, Grants. Okay. Aww. You know what? You know, waiver manipulating memory, you know, manipulation grandparents, it's, it's bad, but it's their grandparents' dreams to watch the stars on in the roof with their supposed grandchild, so, you know. A little, a little bit of memory manipulation may not be so bad after all. <laughs> he knows! He knows! He knows! Our real grandson never was going, How long have you known for? From the beginning? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Plot twist? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, you got me. This is fucked up. We got caught red handed. But I feel like they might not be mad because they had a chance. You know, it's not the real grandchild, but still. Too nice. A grandson of theirs is just a fucking meanie? Not really, I guess. <laughs> Pushes him off. That's what you get for fucking faking my your identity and making us think that you're our grandson. Push him off right now, G-Chan. Finish him off. Why? Because of Waver's presence? Martha's really happy? Is it because of Waver? Or is Ryder doing something? Hmm? Martha's really happy, huh? Hmm. I wonder why Martha would be happy. I mean, it might be Ryder. Just, just connect the dots. Maybe something's been riding. Maybe she's been riding Ryder. Yeah, very happy lately. God, Martha hasn't gotten that kind of action since like 40 years ago, man. God damn. Alright. Of course not, but you might be in danger. <laughs> Yo, if Kiritsugu knew this, <laughs> if, if Kiritsugu knew of this, he just has his binoculars 
target ready. And then he just fucking like manipulates a waiver by holding like the grandparents hostage. He needs to go show some. <laughs> like the Kaneth episode. <laughs> I don't have much time left, Grams. There's like four episodes left. Yeah. Pretty much. Hmm. Words of wisdom? If you've lived long enough, when you think back, there's nothing worth risking your life for. I mean, I'm not telling you guys to go risk your lives for anything. Hell no. Please be safe. But I don't know. I feel like there is some wisdom behind this. But at the same time, it kind of makes me think like never try your... Not risking your life doesn't mean not trying your best. But, you know. Temple. Ryudo Temple. Kiritsugo! <laughs> 40 hours! Bro, get some sleep! Okay。ソノウチノニカショ。盗作で綺麗な姿はなかった。となればのこり2つ。もしくは冬木新海館。プレイスとサモンデグレイル。Oh yeah, you have safer. What do you mean you're alone? This is this is your servant. But you know, we don't really get along at all. Not at all. We are not even the, probably one of the worst relationships. Yo. You're wasting your time. No, I can't waste another one. Stay put. Really? Alright, damn. He didn't say anything to her. That's so fucking... Onna. Classic. Classic. It's always Onna. What's up, Airi? Onna. onna. Uh, yes, that's me, Onna here. Onna. onna. She is the Grail Vessel, right? Oh shit, where's their HQ? Heaven's yeah, and that battle hasn't happened yet. We haven't even had a single duel with Kirei and Kiritsugu. They've just always kind of gotten close, but never quite there. So I'm sure like these last remaining episodes, Kiritsugu versus Kire, it's gotta happen, right? It's gotta be crazy, man. Alright. They are different. Well, he might be changing slowly. Before, he was definitely different because Kiritsugu actually does have ideals and dreams. Kirei was just like a fucking blank slate soldier, mindless drone. Until now, thanks to Gilgamesh. And now he's kind of changing. Until now. But that's what it seems on paper, right? There was intense. Kiritsugu was going on. He was trying to be a champion of justice by killing those people, I guess. But Kiritsugu is, I think, lost in the sauce too, right? They definitely have similarities, but they are also different. I've viewed them as like two sides of the same coin before, but also this scene is, holy shit, what the fuck is going on? Yo, what the hell is this frame right now? <laughs> what would you wish for? Kill all the evil people in the world? That's... That, this, like, because his philosophy is if we just get rid of all the bad people, then no no could be good people don't have to, like, you know, like, die anymore, right? But how, how does one determine that? That, like, it's not absolute black and white, you know? 
you, you can't just do that. that. That's the flaw for Emi Akitsugu's ideals. Like, I get the greater sacrifice, but it's... How do you quantify that? Yeah. And the funniest shit is, the Einsburn OG head, he was scammed. He gave him Avalon, he gave him everything, he gave him Idisfeel, gave him a daughter, gave him a place to stay. Alright, Kiritsugu, your goal? Window Grail? Heaven's Feel, baby. That's right. <laughs> Kiritsugu's like, sure. But actually, it was a whole different plan, right? And ID was also on board. <laughs> Eternal peace. Conflict is humanity's primal instinct. Yeah. Guess what else is primal instinct? A horny dude on the street jumping a girl. You but you can't allow that to happen in public. You, that's why the world has moderation. You can't just go in with, oh, killing is, you know, primal instinct. If we get rid of killing, that's like getting rid of humanity. What do you mean? What do you, what do you, this logic is crazy. Wild logic. I do agree on the childish joke, though. Like, I don't know exactly how Kirisugu's wish. Like, I want eternal peace. Like, get rid of all the bad guys in the world. That, that does seem like a childish joke. That's right. But has he been forced? It's his own decisions. He's making excuses, saying like, no, I need to do this for my beliefs. You are still the one doing it. You are the one that shot down Natalia's plane when we had a plan to fucking land that shit and then save Natalia and get rid of the dead apostles. It was possible. I still think it was possible. Natalia, all she had to do was land it. She knows how to land it. Then all she has to do is break the fucking front window and get out of the plane. Then Kirisugu is ready there with the fucking bazooka and blow that shit up. It would have been possible. But he forces himself to do these decisions because of his ideals, because of that one time he fucked up with Shirley. <laughs> Kiritsugu is too kind. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of different types of kindness in this world. It's crazy that of all the characters in this show and all the different things that we've seen Kiritsugu, he is too kind to chase ideals. <laughs> that is true, right? That is true. Oh no! Kirei, what are you doing? Oh no! Kirei! Yo! She dead? I think she is. Bro, back to back episodes of women getting choked to death. Jesus, phase zero. Oh my god, that's how Idy goes out. She was too good for this world, man. Idy's feel was just a saint. One of the few people which I believe did nothing wrong. Is her decision to stay with Kiritsugu... Well, at the end, she didn't even know how Kiritsugu operated until she came out here. And she believed in these ideals, even though she didn't really understand them. I just feel was so kind. She was too kind for this show. What a tragic... That's not as... Honestly, <laughs> I think the Aoi, that, that shit's way more tragic. But I just feel too, like, this is... It's pretty sad. <laughs> Your reason to fight? You finally figured it out? After choking out Airi? Oh my god, Kirei. Kirei popping off. Grandpa? Grandma? It's 2 in the morning. Really? Last night at the Grail War? Yeah. 
ここからは本当に強いもの。Flares? Flares? 今のは。多様なのがあったが。Red, blue. Going on. Who's baiting us? あのパターンは。なんだどうなのか色違いで四と七。達成と勝利ってことは。まさか、聖杯戦争が決着したって意味なのか。I don't know. I don't know. There's four ones. There's four heroes left, right? We got Rider, Berserker, Saber, Archer. Seven in total, four left. Is that what the meaning is? Kiritsugu plan? But <laughs> we don't have a chariot anymore. Do we have to walk all the way there, bro? Can we ask Grandpa for his car? Chariot! What? Oh, shit! Okay, the chariot's gone, but we have a horse. Let's go! I remember this horse from his Noble Phantasm. The Black Steed. Oh, you don't... You're too scared to get on the horse? Command spell. Oh, oh. 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 Just default win because you use a command spell. Third one. All right. At the end of the day, I think those three command spells. He was gonna do it regardless. It's kind of nice that their relationship. Waver never forced Ryder to really do anything, nor did Ryder. They're kind of just like it's like a mentor and a pupil, right? Like Ryder was like a perfect uh, brother figure, mentor, father. I don't know, but he taught him all about like positive masculinity, maybe, and Waver became more of a man. And these command spells at the end didn't really feel like he was making him do things that he didn't want to do, like some of the other servant, you know, master relationships. All three spells, it's just, hey man, go out there, do your best. That's it. Waver's out. He's not coming with? What are you talking about? Get up here. The master, the command spell doesn't determine if you're my master or not. Come on now, it's the bonds that we've shared. You should see it. You should see him. My friend! Wow! In my head cannon? The waver like figure that we saw in Rider's Noble Phantasm during the Grail dialogue, the Banquet of Kings, that was Waver. Yep. Rider has acknowledged them. He's a friend. He's in his Noble Phantasm. Yep, that's my headcanon. <laughs> Worthy enough. Yep, your future self is already in his Noble Phantasm. Yep, you're worthy. That's my headcanon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. My equal. <laughs> My equal doesn't mean grab his fucking cape and blow your nose on it. But hey, equals, let's go. Alright, I'll witness your glory till the end. Of course, the horse can fly. Bye, Grandpa. Good luck. He wants to destroy the grill. That's right. Kitsugu, Kariya, Kirei, Waver. I don't think it's gonna be easy to kill Kirei. He's kind of... Strong, like really strong. Gilgamesh, just chilling, enjoying the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> For ferocious? 
Kiri's got that burning desire. I don't think Yellowman cares. Permissible. I shall allow it, Zashu. Alright, Gilgamesh is going all out too. Fate mentioned. Did mm -hmm. you have a wish? Nah, I just want to His wish is to destroy the grail in front of Kiritsugu and let him lament. I don't know. Kirei just wants to see other people suffer now. It seems like Kirei's pleasure derives off of other people's suffering, right? Like the whole Kadia Aoi shit, like, it seems like the wine is more tasty if he, like, sees other people suffer due to him. He's like, oh, yes, yes, this is what it means to be alive, to trample over others. Alright. Hmm. As I suspected, the only recourse is to let the Grail reveal what you hide within your heart. So you're telling me there's still a little bit more? Really? There's still a little bit more? Gilgamesh isn't happy with that answer. The true desires of Kire, like, it's still something. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so it's looking like it's going to be Saber versus Berserker. Gilgamesh versus Iskandar. Kire versus Kitsugu. I don't know what Kadia is going to be doing, and Waver will probably just take a back seat. About that doll, yeah, I choked her to death. I called her a woman a couple times, choked her to death. Yeah, and he killed her. <laughs> don't, I, I, I don't know, don't you think you could have used Idis Field to like torment Kiritsugu by using her as hostage even though Kiritsugu probably wouldn't really care and would have shot through Like if Kire held you know Idis Field as like a meat shield and say what are you gonna do Kiritsugu I bet that Kiritsugu would shoot through Idis Field to kill Kire and Idis Field would be happy to be the meat shield there But alright, well, that's just, he's gone now Einsburn Castle. Idia! Oh! That's a lot of Idis feels. Yep, they're all dolls. They are dolls after all. I, I, I guess the Einsburn head really likes this one model. The Einsburn head loves the Idis. Like, <laughs> Einsburn head basically, like, you know, in video games in the beginning, character customization, you're trying to figure out the biggest ass, biggest titties, the best face, and trying to make your wife the hottest possible. This guy basically has accomplished that, saved that as a template, and every doll is based off of that preload. That's a lot, man. Jesus. Gary. Hmm? Idia? I don't know what the timeline of this is. Is this current timeline? Implying a new Idis Field has already fucking spawned in after the Old Idisfield died and can be mom for Ilya or the past? I don't know. I became a cup, the grill vessel, the seven souls, right? The sacrifices. What are these dark? So this is actually not really happening. This is Chains of Fate will release you. I don't know, but this basically is not really happening at the moment. Will it? Dude, their eyes, man. Their empty eyes. The, the way it's staring at you. Ugh. Oh! That was fucking terrifying. That, that was actually terrifying. Like, the, the... Actually getting shivers, bro. Like, who? The blackness is seeping through. What is this? The black serpent's venom? Oh, is the grail vessel working as intended right now? I thought Kirei choking her to death means that she's done, but it's looking like she's inside the grail. Like, she's, she's, she is the thing that's gonna manifest the grail, right? Oh, oh, what the fuck is this imagery, bro? Tiny, tiny hands! What are these tiny hands, bro? Oh, it's creepy animation. Ah. <sighs> 
Now she has like a black robe on. Will it really? I feel like everyone has like a different idea about what the grail does. People think that it's just like a wish making machine. But Kirei has told us the truth is like seven souls sacrifice. And it's the path to the root. Deermood also cursed that grill. I'm not sure if that does anything. But I don't think this grill's gonna end the world's sores and erase all suffering. I don't think any of that wish is gonna come true. What's happening? But Aidy is now become basically one with the grill because she's the grail vessel. Oh, never ending loop. Four hours left, guys. Four hours of Fate Zero left until the end of the Holy Grail War. And holy shit. Today's episode was, you know, more set up the night before the battle. I just feel getting choked out. Waver getting some closure with the grandparents that he fucking gaslit. But the grandparents are happy because their grandchild are too... They're just assholes and never visit. Kiritsugu has not... Slept for 40 hours. Saber still wasting time motorcycling around. Kirei and Gilgamesh ready to go and it's the night before the battle. And the last scene here. Dude, the Iris feel stuff. Oh, I mean, yeah, the Grail Vessel. But now this shit's even, this shit's just as creepy as the Matos, right? Like, yeah, the Matos are creepy because of the warm stuff, <laughs> for sure. But the Iris burns, you know, they're, they're not some sort of like... Like, good people either. All the mages are trash. They are just all trash. And the Einsburn head just creates all these dolls for countless Idis fields to be the grail vessels for their one fucking wish, Heaven's Field. But they ain't gonna get Heaven's Field. I don't think anyone's gonna get their wish answered. I feel like at this rate, Kide will literally fucking bait the grill in front of everybody and then break that shit. No one gets their answers wished. And then the true winner of the battle is who? Kide? For having pleasure and entertainment? I don't know, but that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.